This video is a clip from Evaluate's May 2021 webinar, What Gets Measured Gets Done. This video is about how to measure diversity, including example evaluation questions, indicators, and data collection methods. How we have defined diversity for the purposes of our work um, is a variety in traditional socio-demographic markers such as class, gender, and race, as well as other ways people are different from one another. And we can also look to the National Academy of Science uh, for a definition as well, and we have used that for our work. And the definition for NAS is differences among individuals, including demographic differences such as gender, race, ethnicity, and country of origin. What we found and, and what you all might have experienced is that diversity is really one of the easiest and most straightforward of these constructs to measure. And here are a couple of our thoughts about, um, based on our findings and based on our own current practical work about example evaluation questions that you might utilize. How and in what ways is project leadership attending to diversity? What barriers um, and opportunities exist? How might progress toward diversity be included, right? I think it's really important that we ask formal evaluation questions to get at diversity, equity, and inclusion. To what extent has a project increased diversity of participants? Of course, most projects have diversity goals, so you could ask more specific targeted goals to the project. Some example indicators for diversity, um, looking at the diversity of leadership or the representation of those in the program or project. Um, calculating initial underrepresented minority numbers and percentages, tracking change in underrepresented minority um, participation, looking at the total number of participants, looking at retention rates and disaggregating them by various demographics, looking at the comparing national demographics and representation of participants. So one of the key indicators for diversity is demographics. racial and ethnic groups, identities, religious groups, learning and mental accessibility needs, gender identity, age, nationality, school attended or not or no schooling, countries lived in or social economic status. These are just a few examples that we're sharing with you, but there are definitely others that can be thought about. And so some ways to collect data around diversity, surveys, of course, right? Focus groups and interviews can help get at some of the more nuances of diversity, especially looking at different intersectional, intersectional identities. Um, when available, institutional and administrative data, and of course, any program or project documentation. Thank you for watching this clip. We hope you enjoyed it. To learn more or to watch the full webinar, we encourage you to visit our website, evaluate.org.